Well, that co-worker of ours that was killed was Tony Diaz. He was only 39 years old, and right now, Capital Metro cannot confirm with us if that bus driver is still working for the company because of the investigation. But you do see here that this white bike has been placed on the UT campus in memory of Tony. UT police did get a search warrant to look into this bus driver's home and cell phone, and according to that warrant, 40-year-old Mindy Stafford was the woman behind the wheel that killed Tony Diaz on January 28th. After the crash, detectives found her backpack, which contains several different types of medications. Some have side effects that cause blurred vision, dizziness, drowsiness, and confusion. Safford had to do a field sobriety test, and an Austin police officer said she showed six out of the six clues that she could be under the influence. During the investigation, bus camera video showed the driver also used her cell phone often. Police say at one point she even asked to use someone's cell phone charger. Looking at the field sobriety tests that she failed, my gut instinct, my initial inclination is that she likely was intoxicated at the time that this happened. And the intoxication would be a major reason as to why this incident happened. So the law holds Capital Metro to a higher standard to make sure that the people that rely on that transportation can get from point A to point B safely. In this case, it's very clear that Capital Metro failed their duty of care. That attorney goes on to say that this incident should have never happened. As of now, no charges have been filed on the bus driver just yet. Back to you in the studio.